one too. Child. Anyway, so. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is just going to be an art vlog. I'm just going to show you a little behind the scenes of my latest project. So a couple weeks ago, I was blessed with the opportunity to work on um, a mural, at, a live mural at the Philadelphia Arts and Music Festival. So the Pan Fest. And I'm assuming it's going to be like a yearly thing. This was my first outdoor mural for my city, like public display. It was my first live mural, like of this capacity. There was like over two, 3,000 people there. And not like at any given time because it was like eight hours, but there was a lot of people there, like a lot. <laughs> so my largest piece, the piece was like four by eight feet. Um, so I'm really grateful to be able to have like took down a project that big. So, you know, I just wanted to say, was this thing on? I'm super grateful for the people who put me onto this project and showed me. They know who they are. Shout out to you. I'm super grateful to Comcast. Shout out to y'all. Y'all the really so shout out to Comcast. Um, it was a pleasure working with you guys. I hope that I can work with you guys in the future and I hope that y'all will see me next year. Hey guys, so I am currently on my way to Michael's for tomorrow. I might get like one of those mediums that's like those mediums that like makes the paint thicker or like more pigmented pigmented um and just use like regular liquitex paint definitely want to work with something that i'm already familiar with or like craft paint for like the backgrounds i want to get like those huge brushes um because as i said this is my biggest piece so never like worked on something this big i don't want to go in with my tiny brushes and i'm supposed to be there for like you know finishing a mural for like eight hours definitely don't want to have to take that home and finish it so hopefully i'll get all the supplies that i need and won't set myself up tomorrow so i see a couple of the colors that's like from the palette but i don't know if this is enough definitely i don't know it don't look like enough for four by eight but i'm gonna get it anyway doing these too because um they have like a very good color but i know when i paint with these it looks real ashy and i don't want to go for the ashy look this is what i want to see this is what i want to see um, it's 30 percent long in this corporate money for sure. So this was the field. I really liked how like all the artists had their own tent, like ample space surrounding the whole event. And this was my ward, like smack dab in the middle of the park. Like, okay, miss a little attention. But I really liked it because look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm here at the Pan Plus. You could do like a 360 show all that music artists and stuff. So
success. success. So if you made it this far, you are a real one. That's just obvious. So this is actually on display in Philadelphia at the Comcast Concourse Center. Um, that is at, I think 1500, I'll link, I'll link it below. This piece took about eight or nine hours. I think I got there at 11 and there was no pre-work done, no sketches beforehand, as you can see. They're about 11 o'clock finished, about like just before eight o'clock before the event ended. So one, two, two, three, three, four. So about nine hours, nonstop painting. And I never really took like a long break. I would probably take like five, 10 minute breaks <laughs> because everybody was watching me and I'm like, the, the pressure, pressure is getting, getting west side. West side. And I'm just like, they could be looking at me like, first of all, ain't you supposed to be working? Why are you just sitting here? The math is not mathing. It's a really good experience. Like, I've never really been to a real concert in my life and that was really fun. I'm gonna admit it was really fun, especially since it was like a bunch of local artists around, musicians, poets. My favorite poets were there. So this was actually like a really fun project. Um, Even though I was out there all day, it didn't feel like labor. I guess one, because I was painting. Well, obviously. And two, my sister, she was with me for a little bit half the time. But usually when I take on these big projects, when I take on these big projects, projects, I just go in feeling like so nervous. Butterflies, my anxiety is telling me all this BS. Yeah, this is gonna happen. You're gonna embarrass yourself. You're going to look a mess. You know what I'm saying? But like, I didn't really have any of that. Thank God, because no, people just were like really nice the entire time I was there. I was painting like Questlove and um, Jill Scott, Music Soul Child, and everybody was like, oh yeah, I know who that is. I know who that is. And I was just like, you know, people just took the time out to give me like kind words and I'm just like super grateful for opportunities like that. Been around people for one, real connections. Like I met so many amazing artists and you know, just working with people in these kind of spaces. I just loved it. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. So, you know, I'm definitely going to try to seek out more projects because I feel like this year, like alhamdulillah, like thank God, um, most of these projects found me, I guess because of my page and my consistency. I like these kind of projects. Like I like the opportunity. I like the experiences that I'm getting. So I'm definitely going to try to seek that out. More project proposals, you know, more mock-up campaigns, more emails to these people. Cause I literally have a whole list of people that I want to work with. So hopefully you guys stick around to see these projects inshallah. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you can see more art content, more new. illustration tutorials, painting tutorials, day in the life as an artist. Please comment below any other content that you want to see from me and see you next time. Bye guys.